What's up, guys? Nazi underscore here, back with another episode of the Pokemon Diamond Randomizer Nuzlocke. Uh, when I left off, I uh, was about to do a huge amount of training, and since I left off, I have done a... No, not that. Oops. <laughs> and since we left off, I have done a huge amount of training. The entire party is all the way up to level 50 now, and it was not pleasant to get them there. But I have no regrets. I, you know, now I've got a nice rebuilt team with a nice rebuilt level. Um, so yeah, they've all learned some nice stuff through level up, and um, now they're all just like exponentially stronger. So uh, Elsa, I taught Blizzard. Um, I think that might be the only difference with her. Dialga, I taught Hyper Beam. Um, yeah, that's the only difference there. Mustang's the same, Underscore's the same, uh, Broom learned Aqua Tail, which I'm super excited about because now I have a physical stab move, and yeah, so, actually not that many new moves, but everyone's level 50 now, and everything is wonderful, and I accidentally pressed this button in training, so that's why my steps are weird, um, so yeah, we have just finish that up, and now we are ready to head on to Sunny Shore, uh, to the last, like, chapter, one of the last chapters of our journey. We are now on Route 222, which I don't think we've been on before, so let's see what's in here for backup catching. Ooh, hump crow, hump crow, however, however you say that. I mean, looking at my party, a dark type would be cool if underscore died, so let's send out somebody not weak to that broom spine. Yeah, let's show them what you got with Aqua Tail. Ooh! Alright, well that is the type of power we are exhibiting. That is some Murkrow denying power. Let's just use that on a trainer, huh? I'm quite bored. C care to break the monotony? Oh, sure. You know, if it saves you from boredom, bug catcher Chloe. <laughs> your stupid unknown. Stats, no chance. Feels so good. <laughs> but I knew it was broken, but now I wish it would, because I failed my important person. Right on, that would have also been a pretty cool backup. Replacement for, uh, what's his name? For Stony. I totally didn't momentarily forget the name of. <laughs> um, well, well, hold on, what's up here? This seems like it's. Uh, I, you want it? 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 You want to tussle? I know that you just used feather dance, but it was saved your life, saved your sad chat off life, which is now over because you suck. What's up here? I, you... Dowsing. Machine, help. Eh. Okay, do I have to, like... Wait. Does that mean I'm standing on it? I do not understand at all how Sinnoh's dowsing works. Whatever! Hooray for eating time! That's my favorite activity, especially after grinding up my Pokemon, so that's just super duper fun. Alright, let's see what this Fisher has to say, these lines of Fishers. Hi Traveler, would you like to battle? I, yeah, sure. I was about to deny that I was a Traveler, but then I remembered I'm, I'm pretty travely, just in the way that I operate. Donphan? Nah, bro. That thing I could take out with a Surf, probably. Oh. Well, oh no, no, my speed is lowered. I will never underestimate the defense of a Don fan as long as I live. Let's see what you've got to say. I'm getting bored of fishing. Let's have a quick battle. You know, I'm I'm getting the feeling that these guys would have been a much easier alternative to just thousands of Mount Coronet Pokemon when it comes to grinding. Like I, I'm starting to get the hint that I might have missed an opportunity of sorts by doing that. <laughs> Ooh, Thundershock, this Jolteon is bringing the power. Slowpoke. Ugh, 
This used to be a great team for water types, but now it's a terrible team for water types. Let's just use Regigigas because I can. <laughs> Alright, well, slow start. Screw you. He was knockoff super effective. <laughs> yeah, super duper effective. Um, you know, I mean, your, your special attack is terrible, so let's just use Hyper Beam on a slope. Up. It seems like a wise use of my limited uh, PP. Tenko Mustang will destroy that. I am a bit ashamed that Fire Spin is like the second best fire type by default. Oh well, it's it's useful, and you know, Fire Blast is really strong, so Flamethrower is absolutely necessary. Ooh, no, a Kakuna. Whatever shall I do? You really have some intimidating stuff. And a Geodude. I, I swear to god, if they had like put this guy in the game with like a level 42 magic card just to this people off. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Kakuna, Geodude, and Caterpie. Who hurt you to give you such a terrible team? If I stick the water surface for long enough, I forget what I was doing in the first place. Seems like you are on it. My Torterra underscore will take care of you. Mega Drain is not something he cares about. Alright, let's set up a future site because I'm an actual psychic type now. And fly high into the sky. The Leech Seed did some damage. <laughs> Right, and you are just enjoying all of the health drains until you die. It serves you right. Cardos, that's Rude's Alley. I don't know, it seems like we're noticeably getting to the end with like the caliber of both sending. And then sometimes it feels like we're right back where we started beginning of the game. I don't know though, that's just me. Reopening this game, I haven't played in a fairly long time. I've actually had a pretty big break in recordings since I was spending pretty much all of my disposable time on grinding my freaking party. Blech. <laughs> that was growth. <laughs> that was growth, and I'm gonna have to do it again for the Elite Four. Whoa! You got some terrible Pokemon in here. Hee hee hee, I'm going for the Pokemon Championship with only Pikachu! Let, let me... let me know how that turns out. Go to hell. Alrighty. And who's next door to the crazy Pikachu guy? I had a dream. It was a wonderful dream. I dreamt that a train would bring me a giant Remoraid. What if I did bring you a giant Remoraid? Punk. Uh, did I fight you and forget about it, or did you just talk about it? Um, wow, there is a nice long line of trainers that was 110% to level you up. Like, Jesus Christ, I'm an idiot. How did I not know about this? Like, look, I, I gained a level already. I'm about to gain a second. Ivysaur, that sounds like a job. For Mustang, who is becoming very powerful as of late. Look at that, that's... that's like a 30... that's like a... Hold on. So, I, I pressed the L button while that happened, but... Apparently they don't care in this generation, but... Like, the point is, Fire Spin is a low power move dealt a lot of damage. So next we got a Gallade, which is Psychic Fighting. Right. I think Underscore could wreck that guy when given the materials necessary. Confuse Ray. Psycho Cut? That's a bit scary. Uh. Now nah, let's just heal. Let's just full on use a Hyper Potion. <laughs> Alright, you're confused and hurt yourself, you idiot. Well, you did a pretty good amount of damage. Ooh, you got faint. That's. That's dark type, but it doesn't matter because you're dead type. Burn! <laughs> Well, we got a double battle. I'm down for that. Look, look at my Pokemon. Look, look, look at my Pokemon. It's really cool. Very good for you, child. 
No, we'll ride upon the sea in a boat, just you and me. That's the way the sailor, the way the sailor sing it. I don't want to sing it. Sailors are like the creepiest trainer class. I feel like I've talked about this before. Maybe I haven't. Um, but sailors just eternally creep me out. They have the most like pedophile vibe about them. It's crazy. Right, and underscore, I really should have used your turn to heal up. Just prepare for the death of Star Amia. Ooh, Earthquake. Alright, nice strats, Geodude. I'm just gonna continue healing Broom. Because he got messed up and I forgot to fix that. I, got to, I forgot to unmess him. Because everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has those days. <laughs> <laughs> I love how this move is supposed to hurt literally everyone on the battlefield. It's hurting only one of your opponents. That's how you know that you are a skilled man. It's just use Future Sight on Star Avia in case it survives that long. Oh, Brave Bird, aren't you a kamikaze? Aren't you just the calmest of causes? I don't know where I was going with that, but... Now I gotta take a quick break to heal, because Jesus Christ, there's some formidable threats even after all of that grinding. You know, like, I, I don't even- oh, come on. I don't even fully regret doing that training anymore, because, like, I feel like if they mess me up this bad at level 50, if I came at them at level 42 like that- Okay, can you just forget- Yeah, you get more easily agitated at- <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, it's- it's not, but- that, that was the most sudden switch that I've ever seen. It just turned 6 o'clock right after he said that. So he says it gets more ag he gets more agitated at night. And then the second after that, the screen just turns dark. That's... Oh my god, that's the best thing ever. Uh huh, the only items we throw are Pokeballs. Is that true? I'll just give you flick to make you think about that. Alright, well... Got it, thanks for fully explaining what I really could have just learned from Pokedex or whatever. Alright, social etiquette about hotel meals. That's very helpful to a 10-year-old going on a quest to become a Pokemon master. Uh, Surf has more PP, so I will use that. Also, you just might have run my Aqua Tail out of PP with that dumb old spidey hook. Alright, are these all crap berries? Wiki! Useless. Mago! Useless. Aguav! Useless. Koala! Useless. Basically, my definition of useless when it comes to berries is... Oh, this is looping back. Is that they don't heal a status condition? God damn it. It's, they don't heal a status, condi a status condition or give you HP. Those are... The only ways that I believe a berry can be helpful. And I realize I'm wrong because Pokeblox, but whatever, I found honey. So everyone throw a party for me. Alright, uh, well, let's look at that, there's a honey tree. But I don't care about that because I'm going right to Sunny Shore. What do you have to say about that? If I described the Sunny Shore gym for work, it would be shockingly electric. So, whoops, that's two words. Shockingly electric, huh? So it's an ice type gym, just like the last one. All right, hit hit. We are now in Sunny Shore City, and who's this punk that looks like a chimchar? Yo, fellow trainer, your Pokemon are secure inside their Pokemon, but there's no masking that that aura of serious toughness. Oops, sorry, I should introduce myself. The name's Flint. I'm one of the Pokemon League's Elite Four, and a slightly more calm version of Barry. <laughs> I just had this idea. Maybe you can pull it off. It's about this town's gym leader. He's really lost his enthusiasm because there, there have been so few good challengers, but it's time. He's been so bored, he spends all his time renovating the gym. And then the blackout happened. That sure didn't help with his mood. You know where I'm going with this, don't you? I need you to give him a battle that's so hot, it'll reignite his passion for battling. Would you by chance specialize in fire types? I'm counting on you, hotshot! I got a feeling that that guy used was grass type Pokemon. And so where does this very eccentric bridge system lead me to? 
uh, like Jesus. Is this what he's been doing? Is this the renovation? <laughs> Christ, how do people not get constantly lost in the city? It's a black sign painted white. That's useful. Thank you for that. Sunny Shore Market. Selection of the world's seals. <laughs> Just got a bunch of seal in there. <laughs> Ready to evolve into Dugong? That's my attempt to clarify a potentially big joke. Alright, 17 Hyper Potions, stock up on those, and let's get a good 20 points. Pokemon up there really ran me out of those. Alright. So, I mean, is there are there things to do in Sunny Shore? Like, should we dedicate this city, I mean, this episode to stuff other than that? Spears found in the underground tunnels, I like it. Yeah, so we can tame goodies like the Spears away. About this like shining triplet over here. Get flags from your friends, make a secret. I don't care about secret base. Goodbye. Alright, uh, Pokemon Center, because they're messed up. <laughs> Welcome to the Pokemon. We, we know, we know, Joy. We are well into the. This is about the thousandth time that I've healed my Pokemon. There is no need for you to explain that anymore. I, I wish that there was a feature where after your first, like, so many times using the Pokemon Center, like the first two or three, <laughs> Joy's just like, you get the freaking thing. Oh my god, it's, is that Jasmine? Hey, I got a thing or two to say to you, you steal its boasting idiot. Did you know that your Steelixes are not great? <laughs> yeah, your gym leader and Jodo. Hard Gold Soul Silver confirmed. If you don't have the gym badge, you'll be forced to. Well, yeah, uh, so, little hint at the next games made by Pokemon after Diamond and Burrow. I'd just like to say that Gyarados took you out so easily in another one of my Let's Plays. And I was freaking out about it for super long, so you are the definition of anticlimactic. And I mean, let's see if, uh, what's this guy's name? Like, Fult. It's. I always get him confused with Fulker from Gen 2. It, it, what, what, what is the Sunny Shore Gym Leader's name? What is the name of the person we'll be fighting next time? That is quintessential to the joke I was trying to make, and also how do we get to this freaking gym? I see that it's in the Northwest, but how? Is it, is it like this? Boom! Alright. Oh, it's Volkner. Yeah, way too close to Volkner. <laughs> the Shining Shocking Star. Yo, hi! He hasn't come back yet. When he does, you know what you've gotta do. Give him a ballot, so hi! Okay, so I guess next time we will look for and find Volkner. Volkner. That's Julia's house. It's probably not in there. Um. So yeah, I'll just mull over all the places he could be next time. See you then.